Hey guys, Craig from Meet Me Outside. How how are you? I'm doing great. Um, my knee's a little sore still. So I'm just out here in Western Mass in the, uh, doing a section of the AT. Only like five, six miles. Quick overnighter in the hammock. Um, just thought I'd say hello. Uh, what a beautiful evening. The winds died down quite a bit. It was really, it was really windy early hiking up in here. Uh, I'm almost to the summit of Greylock. Um, I've summited Greylock many times, so I have no interest in going up there. But um, there's some really cool areas on the sides of Greylock for camping. Um, I'm stealth camping now. I'm really not supposed to be camping where I'm at, but I am. I'm in the woods off trail, and it's a, it's absolutely fantastic. Just a nice quiet. Um, one nighter to get away. It does a uh, does my um, my head a lot of good, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna cook some food, some dehydrated pasta with meat sauce. I can't wait. I'm starving. I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Got some uh, dehydrated noodles with uh, meat sauce. Had this before, it's really good. And I'm also gonna add some additional spaghetti sauce just to thicken it up a little. This stuff is so good. So good. This is just uh, a dehydrated meal I concocted. It's so much better than Mountain House as far as the ingredients. I know what went into this um, because I made it. It's just really well-drained cooked ground beef. 
Um, sometimes I use a lot of ground turkey as well, but this is ground beef with pasta. I cook the pasta ahead of time and dehydrate that um, with some dehydrated spaghetti sauce with doctored up with all the spices I like, make it good. Um, so there's really not a whole lot of ingredients, or at least I know what they are. Um, the whole mountain house thing, uh, most some of those meals are good, but most of them, man, especially mountain house, you know, you, have you ever tried to read the ingredients list? It'll, there's not really much you can identify with. <laughs> um, it's not good, not good stuff, not good for you. Uh, just the sodium alone is awful. Um, but anyway, sun's going down. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be dark really soon. <sighs> it's only supposed to get down to like 28 tonight, so it's perfect. Really nice. And it's not windy. It was, the forecast said uh, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. It's not windy at all. At least right now. Um, which is nice. Um, just a simple one-nighter once again. I've had the opportunity to do one-nighters lately. Uh, it's better than nothing, right? Um, I just haven't had much opportunity with work to um, get out for more than a day or two. But it's better than nothing. And I'm up here in Western Mass in the Berkshire Mountains on the side of Mount Greylock, actually. I like coming over here when I can. It's only like an hour from our home, so it's not bad at all. It's quick, easy. Um, once again, I got my, my war bonnet hammock set up. I tried going on the ground and just... Um, I, in fact, I had sold my hammocks in the past. I had a ridge... Ridge Runner Bridge Hammock. Um, and before that, I had a award bonnet Blackbird with the shelf. There's a shelf. Anybody that knows anything about Blackbird knows it. Um, war bonnet there. The Blackbird has an integrated shelf, which is really cool for storing stuff. But I never really used it much, to be honest with you. So I sold that one to a buddy years ago. And then I went with the Bridge Hammock, the Ridge Runner. And I found it squeezed my shoulders too much. I slept good, but my shoulders were always turned in like this so it was kind of I liked it I slept on my side really well it was good and then I completely got out of hammocks um for a while for a couple years anyway and uh I still like using my tents and tarps but I just sleep better in the hammock so I went ahead and got another wool bonnet um the Eldorado it's essentially the same as the Blackbird minus the shelf which I never used anyway it's got a zip off bug netting system which is cool it's relatively lightweight. Um, it's not the lightest hammock in the world by any stretch, but it's durable. Uh, it should be, and it is. Um, it's not so fragile, and, and uh, it's not so um, ultra lightweight. You have to really baby it too much because I'm kind of rough on gear, and I want I wanted something that I, again that I could just use and enjoy and not worry about ripping it or whatever. So yeah, I'm super happy with it so far with the cloudburst tarp. 11 by 10 rectangle tons of tie outs very versatile you can use it on the ground or when you go to the ground um and also my wookie zero degree under quilt so it's the same setup i showed last time and i'm super happy with it uh so far a few times i've used it so far yeah um so i'm gonna settle in here i'm not gonna have a fire there's a there's a service road probably a hundred yards that way. Uh, and I'm not sure if they'd see, they being the rangers, they cruise this area for some reason. Uh, it's a park area, so I can see why. Probably looking for people like me, you know? <laughs> but I didn't want to get, a, as much as I'd like a little fire for the ambiance, I'm, I'm afraid if they come by again, if they can see down here, which I don't think they can, but the fire might be visible. So I don't want to, I don't want to have to pack up and get out of here, so. Um, I'm not going to have a fire. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Cheers. So it is forecast to rain tomorrow, starting mid-morning, so, and rain all day, so I'm going to pack up early. Well, when I get up, no rush, and try to beat the rain out. It's all downhill from where I am. I, it was continuous climb up here so it'll be all downhill tomorrow morning yeah so i'm just out here chilling 
getting away from the masses and the chaos and just, uh, I was going to say decomposing, but decompressing a little bit. <laughs> Hope I'm not decomposing. Um, yeah, it's good to do. It's good for the head. At least it's good for my head. I'm going to stop rambling and enjoy the, the stillness that is the forest, right? Cheers. Good morning. So far, the rain's held off, or it hasn't started yet, I should say. Little breeze. Started picking up around 3 in the morning. Nothing bad, though. Real pleasant night. Super still. Super still. I just got the tarp flipped over for now so I can pack up. Slept really, really good. couple new pieces of gear this trip in particular I've been trying out these uh, Oslo <coughs> excuse me Oslo Gore-Tex mid height hiking shoes I'm a trail runner person generally the last seven or eight years I've been using trail runners for the non Gore-Tex trail runners for the breathability in summer and the dry out factor I'm not a big Gore-Tex fan in general but um, pick these up to for late spring, early spring, late fall conditions, um, just for a little more protection. But yeah, so far they're super comfortable. I've only got maybe 12, 13 miles on them. Um, I forgot what model they are. I think they're just continue, neutrons or neutrals or something like that. But yeah, so far they're super comfortable right out of the box. They're, there's good support. Um, ankle support, which I'm not really, I don't really care. My, most of my trail runners are low, but um, I ran the Gambit, you know, back when I first started backpacking, I had, and I still have them. They're full leather, Italian leather hikers. Um, they're just so darn heavy that I've uh, stopped using them just for day. I use them just for day hikes now, but yeah, these are so far working out really good. No uh, hot spots, no blisters. Uh, that's with the stock insoles. I haven't got any fancy replacement insoles yet, but yeah, super, super comfortable so far. I'll let you know how they work out. <laughs> 